Tennis Hall of Famer John McEnroe had some words for USTA after Russian pro Daniil Medvedev's warning that a player is going to die over the playing conditions and the intense heat at this year's U.S. Open. New York Post's Jenna Limoncelli wrote the article that's currently trending on the Post website. She's kind of here to break down what U.S. Open officials can do here. Jenna, thanks for joining us. I guess, like, what's McEnroe and uh, the players' beef with USTA? Like, what, what do you want them to do? It's summertime. In the words of Will Smith, it's summertime. It's high as the moon. <laughs> That's it. I mean, listen, yeah, these are the weather conditions. You know, rain or shine, got to play, right? I mean, the U.S. Open is one of the most lucrative tournaments uh, in tennis. So it's not like even uh, Medvedev said what, that the conditions were brutal, but what are you going to do at this point, right? There's not necessarily a beef, but it was more of McEnroe just saying uh, after seeing Medvedev defeat uh, Andre Rublev, that they there's he said quote these poor guys they look like they're gonna fall over it's not in a humane way i'm sorry please usta in the future i think we should seriously close the roof now uh that would be the retractable roof at arthur ash stadium that was open for wednesday's matches and again players were suffering in that heat you have to think some of these matches go hours long and you know they're trying to step up and say hey it's dangerous conditions out here there needs to be something done at this point so they're basically making it public that this is an issue a safety issue and so is McEnroe well in one of those photos maybe that looked like he was tanning at the Jersey Shore my man was down shirtless like just no no socks no nothing on so what I guess what can the players do to beat the heat if they're not going to close the roof uh, during a day game Right. Well, I mean, I'm no doctor, of course, so let's preface that. But again, of course, you know, staying hydrated, staying, you know, nutritioned and following what their training staff and their medical personnel and their doctors are saying, of course. But also, again, the images that you guys are showing right there, uh, Medvedev with the towel over his head. These players are filling ice packs, filling towels with ice and just drenching themselves in water. They're ripping their shirts off. Uh, courtside because it's just unbearable. The humidity reached up to a 50%. It's been the hottest couple of days this week for the U.S. Open that they've seen in this year's tournament. And it's only continuing to get worse this week. So again, uh, the USTA needs to do something here. And of course, there was a new policy adopted that we can chat about now. All right, yeah, because I was going to say, like, have they, the USTA, come out and kind of responded to the criticism? Like, what do they say they're going to do about all this? So this was reporting from AP, but uh, on Tuesday, they reported that the U.S. Open adopted a new rule for the rest of this tournament. So it's unclear if this is permanent. It's unclear of how they'll move forward with this. But for this tournament, they adopted a new policy that they will partially shut the roof at Arthur Ashe Stadium in extreme weather conditions. So it will offer some shade and hopefully some cool air for these players down there. But the temperature has been in the 90s this week. So they made that call on Tuesday, AP reported, and that happened. They decided to change that policy during Coco Goff's victory over Jelena Ostapenko. So that was when the the conditions just became a clear concern and that was the tournament referee that uh jake garner that had told ap about this new policy so under this new policy for the rest of the tournament it'll allow rules for longer breaks in between sets and single matches when a reader actually tells you that the weather has crossed the th crossed the threshold for dangerous conditions so at least there's that new policy there and again the roof has really only been shut for rain in the past so the fact that the heat is having them adopt this new policy uh speaks volumes well they say there's nothing like summertime in the city not if you're playing tennis jenna limoncelli thanks for joining thanks. us <laughs> thank you